gentlemen right here, the winner of both the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award, up comes the stock steerman and rolls it over on his back. And the young with a quick snap roll after the slow roll. There he goes, working the win. John Moore, a gentleman with over 30,000 hours of flight time and over 30 years experience flying everything that he could get his hands on from the time he first sold on an airplane at age 14. At age 17, John Moore actually designed and built and flew his own helicopter. He's a third generation pilot. As he takes this stock spearman through the skies here at Naval Air Station, Oceana, taking us back to the days of the Barnstormer. After World War I, a pilot survived the air war often bought a used Jenny Trinker and wanted to keep quiet. Keep quiet over right now. John Moore came and landed a farmer to be able to ride for five or ten dollars a day. Well, John Moore is taking you back to those days. One half of a Cuban eight. That's five eights of a loop and a half a roll. In 1936, the Miami Air Race is the late Kobe was too low at the top of a loop to complete it safely, so he did just what John Moore is doing, and he was also training the Cuban Air Force pilots to fly. And at the end of the loop, at the end of the show, Nobody had ever seen it, and he said, Ocho Cubano, Cuban 8, and the name stuck. Well, watch here, at only 400 feet of altitude, John Moore, the stock chairman, does a beautiful round house. He's a beautiful barrel roll, coordinated throttle, elevator, ailerons, and rudders, and start and stop at the same altitude and airspeed. Watch the deep down on the deck, he gets the speed there at 130 miles an hour, he pulls up into the vertical, rolling through the airplane, a quarter roll to the left, pulls hard on the stick, that is called the inside hump to bump, the quarter roll to the right sets him up, and aiming for strip center, he's got that. Now this airplane, as I've said several times, is a stock steerman. It has not been modified in any way for air show use, which means it doesn't have an inverted fuel or oil system on it, which means if it gets upside down too long, the engine will quit. And you'll hear that a couple of times throughout the show. Now, you've seen a couple of rolls, you've seen a couple of Cuban and you've seen a loop, you've seen a four-point hesitation roll. Let's watch him as he goes into an eight-point hesitation roll. Stop it. Thank you. 
o'clock and he will pull up, getting into about three and a half times his normal body weight with a quarter roll on the up line. Watch him as he stops and pulls hard for another inside Humpty Bump reversal. Boy, oh boy, what a guy here. As he's done a square loop, he's got the quarter roll. Of the 
Army Marine Corps Harrier. This is the Harry Pass as he climbs the fuse on lower and lower. Dragging that tail just about three feet above the ground and that weight shift just about the same distance above the ground. Down in that area right in between the taxiway and the runway with his little dip. There you go. Really amazing stuff. Slow speed. Slow, so slow that you can almost run beside that airplane. John got the airplane, as I mentioned, back in 1975. Here he comes again. Watch him go sideways. Give him a wave, everybody. Because he's waving at you now. Left hand is off the throttle, way back to right hand on the stick. Got a lot of left stick and a lot of right rudder as he does his hairy fast the opposite direction. Downwind going a lot faster. Keeping the stock 220 horsepower and on and out and out of flying the way we got to make it do things that other people wouldn't even dare do on a steering But it's almost time for him to land. Now let's watch. He's got the wheels down. They don't change a little bit. And let's see, call the last pass here. Let's see if he's going to land or what he's going to do with this thing as he's on his way in here. Looks like he's going to approach the land. But this is going to be a little bit different than your normal approach because the wheels are not in the right position to touch down on the runway. This is called the inverted approach to landing, but he's going to run out of airspeed and out of power, so he gets his, the engine going again. Now watch before he lands. Watch for the snap roll. A high-speed stall. Oh, my goodness. And then gets that left wing down, a lot of right runner. And just before he touches down, he's going to drag it one more time across the line, flying that fuselage and touching that. He's going to touch down and just continue to fly along. Let's take a look. Time for me to see him. Continuing to come along, you can understand why that this gentleman had won such prestigious awards, that Bill Barber Award for Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award, doing those one-wing, one-wheel landings, I should say. He's uh, keeping the tailwheel off the ground. He'll turn into the taxiway, pop some more smoke, saying hello to the folks out there on the line. Uh, Paul Hart and Jeff Hart from Hart there are steermen out there that have those 450 horsepower engines on them. But this is the one that everybody says is the stock steerman of the best guy in the world flying it.